Let's talk about the time Sumra returned and almost won. We start the story in the Arctic Wasteland, a prison for the worst threats to the Crystal Empire, even more far off than Tartarus, and with monsters from a time before the sisters. Many of those monsters forgotten after Princess Amora of the Crystal Empire fell, but not gone. Flem and Flem just got another scheme bested by an apple, and feel like they finally need to do something about them. And the pony we've been following out of the wastelands offers them their chance. Next, we meet Iron Will, holding a seminar with no success. He lost his magic touch and his charisma, but our friend, the Hooded Pony, wants to help get it back to get the people to fear Minotaurs again. Now, we join the Salty Lightning Dust, and the Hooded Pony offers her an opportunity to beat Rainbow Dash and her friends once and for all. They have one last stop to make to complete that group, but we won't see who that is until later. We jump right to the Crystal Empire where Twilight prepares the Crystal Affair once again, and they are already exhausted from the work. Then suddenly, Twilight spots Flim and Flam and of course suspects that they are up to something. But everything seems to be in order with their lemonade. They will keep an eye on them though. At the same time, Rainbow found Iron Will and calls him out. But Fluttershy trusts him when he says that he is making progress in being more kind for meditation classes. Next, we see Pinky and Rarity talking about their jobs at the fair. Pinky is in charge of the clowns and asks one of them for some slapstick. In that moment, a water balloon crashes from the sky. She's impressed while well, the next one hits Rarity. And the true Quirlput reveals herself. Lightning dust. After realizing what's going on, Rarity immediately calls the Pegasus security. Meanwhile, AJ inspects Flim and Flam's contraption, and Iron Will is waiting for some kind of signal at the Crystal Heart. And that signal is revealed when AJ opens the machine to uncover the Changeling Heart. This notifies the Minotaur to take the Crystal Heart. The siege has begun, and Shining Armor and Cadence ready the defenses. Twilight wants to do the same, but gets stopped by Chrysalis, the Changeling Queen, and an epic battle ensues. At the same time, Shiny catches Iron Will red-handed, and Cadence sets up a force field. Adi followed Lightning Dust too far, and is outside of the Empire, while everything is going on. Iron Will, Lightning Dust, and Flim and Flam are all on the one, but our heroes are strong and able to stop them. Even Iron Will falters when being confronted with Pinky and her cannon. Loaded with velvet fabric and fired by rarity, he flies over to the distance while Twilight's fight is still ongoing. Chrissy is enraged cause she was called old. Before she can use that rage, Iron Will flies into her and takes her down. All of the villains are seemingly stopped and put into cages. They take the satchel from Iron Will, but the crystal heart is nowhere to be found. The satchel was a decoy, the real one is with the hooded pony, and they are on their way to the throne room. Inside, they shoot a magic beam above the throne and open a secret tunnel. Outside, Chrysalis reveals the real plan and unnerves Shiny. Cadence is still in the castle, he has to help her. While the hooded pony reached a secret room and calls out for someone who was thought to be gone. Sombra. But he is only a cloud of smoke, a formless being. She pulls a hood off her face and reveals to be a pony named Hope. Someone from Sombra's past. He remembers, but only that she betrayed him after finding out what he really is. But he is wrong. She didn't know any better. She just wanted to help. And now she wants to make her past mistakes right. Sombra doesn't believe her, but she goes ahead and blasts him with a powerful spell. Sombra is crying out in pain as his body reforms. Hope's energy is drained, but the king has returned. Long live the king. And that was the first of the four issues of the Siege of the Crystal Empire. And what an issue that was. Some was back and ready to cause trouble. Together with some other minor and major villains at his side. As well as Radiant Hope. This issue was hard to narrate. Cause so much stuff was going on all at the same time. But I hope you all enjoyed it anyway. It's great that we get to see some of the minor villains again. And they definitely held their grudges. This issue also has some fun references. At the Iron World Seminar we see a sign that says... Well to do investment, cancelled. He is the one who tried to take over the Everfree Forest. And he's kinda dead, so it makes sense that the seminar is cancelled. This issue is honestly all over the place and a bit hard to follow, so I hope my explanation helped. And next time we'll see what's up with Hope and explore what somewhere really is. It's backstory time, baby!
the fight will go on, but until then, what do you think? Are you excited to see Zambu again? What do you think of help? Let me know, join my Discord and we'll discuss some more. Thanks to my patrons, especially to my week. Until next time, for the bonies, bonifellas, and bye.